Well, if you haven't heard, a lot of heavy rainfall in the Houston region last night. Basically, since yesterday, reports of rainfall coming in at anywhere from 7 to nearly 10 or 11 inches. And as you would imagine, all that water falling in a short amount of time, it can't go anywhere, so it just sits on roads. And here's a Houston Transtar cam from early this morning and last night where this uh, water has basically stopped the traffic on the highway. And good news that most of the cars not going through that water. You always want to stop, turn around, find a different and alternate route as you never know how deep that water is. And typically when that happens, you can get into a very bad situation very quickly. But they're still looking for folks uh, due to all this rain. I know that there have been a few people missing, uh, but this is how much rain has fallen over the past 24 hours. So at least through early Tuesday morning, this pink coloring indicating almost 7 to 10, even close to 11 inches which is very dramatic, but this Texas flooding may be an ongoing situation here through the week ahead as we have additional heavy rainfall amounts yet to come. And severe weather concerns will be in place this week with warmer temperatures and our severe threat today encompassing parts of Oklahoma and Texas. That's a slight risk. And then from the Great Lakes to the Ohio Valley, hail and high winds a primary threat. And then by Wednesday from the northeast through the central U.S. and then back into the central and southern plains. And then Thursday, marginal risk here across the upper Mississippi Valley down into the Gulf Coast states. So here's your one impulse of energy lifting north into the Great Lakes and the trailing cool front. Maybe we'll be, may be responsible for a few strong storms. Then we're going to just kind of watch that thunder threat ongoing in the central and southern portions of the country with rainfall tallies on the order of about two to three additional inches on top of what we've already seen. But temperatures, nationally speaking, aren't too cold. In fact, pretty warm in the southwest, with Phoenix warming up to 95, but pretty unsettled in the central U.S., as I mentioned, with some stronger thunderstorms and pockets of heavy rain.